amigos, my name is B, and today I'm doing an unboxing. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a double fairy loot because I've been super busy and have been a shit YouTuber and I didn't do one when this one arrived, so now I've got two. So I'm just going to bosh them out in one, one video. So stay tuned because um, we've got two fairy loots to do today. So. I'm just gonna get crack a in into this first one. So this um, one was the January Moon and Stars um, box. I have looked inside this one, unfortunately, um, because I was just too excited um, not to. So anyway, that is the spoiler card. It's kind of like a little lady on some kind of pirate ship boat looking at the stars. And I think that's really cool. So there are a few little um, envelopes in here. So I'm gonna do the smaller one first. So the first thing we've got is this Moon Phases necklace. And this was designed by Nova and, Ta Nova and Tail. Um, but isn't that just adorable? It is quite a chunky one. So I'm not sure how much use I'm gonna get out of that. I have a really tiny necklace, um, but that would be really cool for like a cosplay or um, a kind of st themed night, themed party type thing. That is really cool. So I'm actually gonna skip the, the next envelope just to kind of mix it up. And next we see starry fairy lights, which is really cool. They're in this little box. And it actually says, the darkest nights produce the brightest stars, which is a John Green quote. Oh, they're adorable. So it's literally just a little um, battery compartment and then the lights are so cute. They're literally just tiny little stars with um, really small wire around them. Um, I've actually just set up a little reading nook with a mirror and stuff. So this would look really cool, just like dangling down one side of my mirror. Um, so that is awesome. We love fairy lights. And I like the little box as well. Fairy Loot has definitely upped their packaging game with this box. So next we have My Little Moon Trinket Tray, which is interesting it says on the side of the box it's a ceramic trinket dish with chrome finish hand wash only and oh my god it is adorable look at how freaking fancy that is it's almost like an oil spill rainbow trinket tray in the shape of a moon that is definitely going to come in handy for all of my um jewelry or I might actually put my SD cards in this because I don't have anywhere safe to put my SD cards that is awesome oh I love it so much I don't know if my camera is doing the colors of this justice just look at how freaking fancy that is so next it looks like we have a little notebook. It says, you have me until the last star in the galaxy dies, you have me. And that is from Illumine by Jay Kristoff and Annie Kaufman. And it is so beautiful. It's got so many stars all along the outside of it. And it's just regular lined paper on the inside, but it's quite a thick one. You could get loads of notes in this, definitely definitely a great a great item so the next thing I see is a pillowcase and oh my gosh so it's got this quote by Oscar Wilde and the art is by Becky Thorne designs and then on the back we've got this gorgeous artwork of a little guy oh, of books in the moon and then a little lady down there with a book um, but yeah I love it isn't it amazing I've got an empty pillow to put in this, so. Oh, I've got a naked pillow to put in this, so. That'll be going in my reading nook. So I'm gonna go back to the envelope now and see what was in the second one. Oh, and it is a little dragon keychain. Um, so this one is inspired by Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett. 
And that was actually one of the first boxes that I ever got from Fairy Loot. I have read that book and it is one of my favourites that I've ever received from them. So I'm really happy to have this. Um, and this is designed by Dust and Pages and apparently it's glow in the dark as well. So I am really looking forward to seeing that one lit up in the dark. So next we have some paper clips um, and they are moons and stars. So one side... I can show you. One side has stars and then the other side is the moon which is fabulous. So then we have the tarot cards of this month. They are the king and queen of cups and are inspired by Ember in the Ashes series. I've not read it, it is on my TBR. Um, and these were designed by Gabriella Bujdoso. I don't, I've probably just butchered her name, but yeah, those are the tarot cards. I'm really excited about the tarot cards. Um, they brought them out in the last box that I had before I stopped buying Fairy Loot, um, and then obviously I've missed quite a few so I think I'll probably go back and buy all the ones that I've missed so that when they complete their tarot card deck I'll have them all um because they are really nice and there's a there's a few different like sets so the first lot was um a core of thorns and roses and then there's been ember in the ashes ones and I think there was a couple other books in when I wasn't buying very late so yeah those are the tarot cards and then we come to the book of the month now obviously this is january's book so i have seen um spoilers so i do know what it is but i'll show you last just like i always would so we have the letter from the author alongside some artwork of the characters uh, we also have some stickers which is really really cool um this book is looking like it's going to be an awesome one we then have the fairy scoop which i always call the fairy scribe um the uh book mark of the month with the artwork on the front and the book and this month it is woven in moonlight um by isabel ibanez ibanez i don't know um but it looks really really cool um and we do have the artwork on the back of the dust jacket the dust jacket um the actual book has some really cool engravings on the side and it's got a little embossed i don't know if you can see that an embossed moon and stars on the front and it is signed in the front as well which is really cool it's got this little like leopard saying the signature which is awesome so yeah that is the first box i am really excited about this book i've heard um some really cool things just in reviews of the fairy leap box so i'm really excited to read this one on to the february fairy loot which i'm even more excited about so the february fairy loot was rule breakers this was the spoiler card artwork we've got a dragon we've got a tower we've got a princess we've got someone to save her um or are they escaping i think they're escaping maybe instead i don't know but this fairy loot is chunky he is popping out all over the place um so i think let's just get straight into it so we have a lip balm and it says now i don't know <laughs> this character so i'm not sure on how you're supposed to pronounce its name malachi 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 malachi's i don't know this was made by little hearts gifts and it is inspired by wicked saints by emily a duncan um it is strawberry prosecco flavor and I feel like I just need to try what that tastes like. Not bad. It's almost got like a fizzing agent in it. So it's almost like, almost like it's actually Prosecco on your lips, which is really cool. So yeah, next we have a scarf and it is inspired by Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. And this was designed by Taracha. Um, so we've got a cat, a stack of books, 
and thorns and they all represent different things from the book um sorcery of thorns i've not read it um because i didn't get that fairy loot so i'm not sure on the characters but it is a really nice scarf it's nice and foiled it's gold it could it would it would definitely be a really cool shawl um on or shawl on like a night out so that's cool um so next let's just go ahead and do the big thing in the box so this is what is um making it so thick and heavy it is a ceramic mug inspired by serpent and dove the artwork of Lou and Reed, I've not read this book so again I don't know who these characters are. So the artwork of those characters has been painted by the uh, by Merwild and Co. And then it's also got a sketch at the bottom of the mug by Taracha. Let's just open it, let's just get in there. So it is... In case you were ever wondering about Fairy Loop packaging, it is really secure in there. It's got a nice thick layer. If it'll come out. It's got a nice thick layer of foam on the top and another thick layer on the bottom. So it is really secure. So this is the mug. It's quite a small one, but it is really hefty. It is really well made. And then on the inside, you've got that serpent and dove by Taracha. Um, and this one, just so you know, is dishwasher and microwavable safe. So it's a really cool mug. I just need to read the book. So next we have this art print by nova and tail again and it is of we hunt the flame by hafsa faisal um not that i've read it again <laughs> i need to really catch up on some books um but it's of two characters it's quite an anime -y, anime -y artwork which is really cool next we have a luggage tag and this is probably my favorite item in this box um because it is Lord of the Rings inspired and it's probably my favourite quote from Lord of the Rings and probably one of the most quoted quotes from Lord of the Rings. One does not simply walk into Mordor and I love it because that quote is taken the piss out of so much. One does not simply get the bus into Mordor. Um, I just love it. It's by Bookmarked Tattoos and Love You More Studio so I really really love this one. Not that I ever use luggage tags, I don't use them often, but it's got a really cool um, artwork of the eye there. Just a, just a really fabulous piece. So next we've got two foil bookmarks and a sticker, both from the series Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Um, again, these were designs with Nova and Tail. Um, so the blue, the red one says, never flinch, never fear, and never forget. And then the orange one says, the books we love, they love us back. And just as we mark our places in the pages, those pages leave their marks on us, which is a, just a fantastic quote. And then the sticker says, too many books, too few centuries, which is true for all of us, I think. Um, we, we will never be able to read all of the books. Um, so again, we've got the tarot cards. These are the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And they are, again, designed by Gabriella Bujosa. Bujoso and inspired by Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Again, I've not read it, but I definitely need to. It's on my shelf. Just whip me into shape. Tell me I need to read these things. Um, so yeah. They, are the characters blue? Why are the characters blue? Is it just a weird blue thing? I don't know. So then we come to the book of the month. So we've got the fairy, I almost said fairy, fairy scrap. Fairy scoop of the month. And then that tells us that the next month's theme is Break the Curse, which I'm really excited about. We've got the bookmark with the artwork. We've got some postcards, which are exciting. Um, this top one says, after all, love is an excellent motivation to kill. Interesting. Um, and the back, um, just from what I can see, it says The Shadows Between Us, which I guess is the book of the month, which is fantastic. 
Um, we've also got artwork of some of the characters with the author's letter to us. Um, let's just talk about this book for a second. Look how shiny, look how shiny and purple that is. Um, that's great. Let's look at the cover artwork. Oh yeah, very moody just as I was expecting. It, I almost feel like this is going to be a really cool vampire book. Um, just because that's what I'm feeling. Um, black on the inside and then a really gorgeous purple page with the signature. Um, so I am really looking forward to this. Really looking forward to this. I think I need to really go through my TBR and start actually reading the books that I get from Fairy Loop because I keep reading the same series again and again. I mean, to be fair, ever since A Court of Thorns and Roses, there is no other book for me. And I need to get out of that. So hit me up with some comments down below of the books you think I desperately need to read. Um, if I've read it, I will always have an amazing discussion with you about what I thought about it. If I haven't, it will go on my TBR, on the top of my TBR to read as soon as possible. Um, if you liked this video, I'm sorry it's so long. Um, I definitely should have cut this down into two, but I just didn't want to bring you two fairy loots in a row. So chuck it into one video. You don't have to watch it all if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe while you're down there so you don't miss any more of my future videos. I will see you guys next week with another video, hopefully. <laughs>